Hi, hey, ho, ye, ha. Good evening. No, good afternoon from London, England to you all over the world. Whether you're watching in France, whether you're watching in Tanzania, whether you're watching in Belgium, whether you're watching in Scotland, whether you're watching in Ivory Coast, whether you're watching in the Republic of Ireland, wherever you're watching, from your host, your guy, the one and only and truly DLG repping. And I'll also say good morning if you're getting up, good evening if you're at the business end of the day, wherever you are, or should I say good night? If you're tucked up in bed, because if you are, rest well. From your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly. Yes, there I am. There it is again. A reminder. This is a dirty one. Excuse me. You can see me on it, yeah? Can you see me on it? Yeah? Dele, London, Guna, Space, Romeo, Echo, Papa, Papa, Indigo, November. So, before I get into today's um content i want you to keep smashing the thumbs up like button you've been doing that yeah viewers the view numbers have been magnificent and beyond magnificent keep it going i want you guys to smash the share button yeah all over the world make it viral and tell your friends and family yeah to subscribe to well to share this channel all over the world and Leave positive feedback in my comment section below. Your opinions, your views. Uh, if you've got any reaction to the recent football headlines, not just involving Arsenal, but your club, etc. Let's have a chat. Leave it in the comment section below. And let's be nice about it, yeah? And subscribe to DLG Repping. Smash the heck out of that subscribe button. And speaking of subscribe, I've had six new subscribers. One, oh, I forgot, oh, I forgot to um, write his name down. Um, I think he goes by the name of One Two Three Hensman. I think it's your name, but don't worry, I'm gonna shout you out anyway. Yeah, you know who you are. I'll just call you One Two Three. Yeah, so shout out to you. Yeah, for showing support and love. Yeah. All blessed to you. And shout out to the other five new subscribers. Especially the last one who became the 163rd subscriber to my channel. Shout out to you. Yeah, whether you're, whether you're, you're a he or a she. Whether your race, whatever race you are, wherever you, whatever you, wherever you come from, whatever your age, etc., you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. And let's keep this um, subscribe numbers moving. Um, yes. Did I say that? Yeah, let's keep it moving, yeah? I'm calling out for a thousand subscribers and far and beyond that, yeah? So let's keep it subscribing, yeah? If you subscribe, I'll shout you out like I've done to the six new subscribers, yeah? And plus... You can help me by making this channel grow and I'll help you by delivering the best content possible, yeah? Um, the intro, I'm hoping to get it sorted out by the end of this year, beginning of the new year. So you've got to bear patience with me. Otherwise, let's get into the headlines, yeah? Um, according to... Whoa. According to um, Aston Villa Chief Executive, clubs will be nervous to release their players on international duty abroad. And this is um, over what happened in Brazil and uh, well, what happened in the World Cup qualifier between Brazil and Argentina. Um, UEFA have lifted ban on the away fans so they can start attending um, European matches away from home. Starting from next week, by the way. I'll get into that. And Tuesday's um, transfer talk. I'll get into that as well later on. But let's start off with um, what Christian Perslow said. For those of you football fans who don't know who Christian Perslow is, he's the chief executive of Aston Villa Football Club. That's his role. And he goes by the name, well, you know his name anyway. So I'm going to read what he said here. And written in yellow writing, 
As the head title, clubs will be nervous to release players. Aston Villa Chief Executive Christian Perslow says the controversy surrounding Brazil and Argentina's World Cup qualifier will make clubs incredibly nervous about releasing their players in the future. Sunday's game was abandoned just after kickoff, after Brazil's health authorities said Argentina's four UK based players broke quarantine rules. Villa allowed Argentine duo Emiliano Martinez and Emiliano Brandia to travel to South America for Argentina's first two matches. Wow. Christian Perslow is not exactly best pleased about that. Being a, a Villa fan and a chief, chief executive, he is obviously expressing concerns for the club's players, his club's players, as well as all players within the Premier League. Um being allowed to release players because of the situation with COVID. And I think clubs are within their rights to make sure they double check the situation in their countries, in the in their players' countries, before considering releasing them. Don't just release them. Do your research. Double check. There's a health hazard out there, and that's called coronavirus. And they have to be jabbed up. Even I got jabbed up. I played stubborn to it. I admit that. I put my hands up to that. But you know what? I feel maybe a lot more better that I've got the jab. So all is um, looking sweet, sweeter for me. So um, what can I say? It's one of those um, situations... Um, that is still there in our society, in the world of society. So, you know, it's not where I see it in my local society. It's all over the globe. And, um, well, you ready for... I'm going to have to get to the bottom of it. Or FIFA going to have to get to the bottom of this. Anyway, Christian Perslow did have a point there. And um, he's a real respectable man in football. As well as respected by the Aston Villa fans. Again, let's move on. And um, this this one here. Oh, for crying out loud, is it gone? No, it's here. UEFA lift bans on away fans in Europe. UEFA have lifted a ban on away fans attending European club matches from next week. That's um, great news for um, the travelling supporters who... Go home and away and in Europe for their club. Diehard supporters. And um, it brings the spirit back into the um, European game again. Or should I say European club game. Fans will be allowed to attend away games in the Champions League, Europa League and Europa Conference League. However, attendance remains subject to national government coronavirus restrictions in host countries. The change will affect English and Scottish clubs who are preparing for away games in European competition group stages, which begin next week. Only next week it all happens. We're all about the Premier League this week, that's what I say. But hey, I'm not hating. I know my team's not in Europe. You know who I support, the famous Arsenal. And speaking of Arsenal, come Friday, just a reminder, I will be doing my preview for the Norwich game at the Emirates. And God so help me, and please help me get me a ticket for that game. And for the North London Derby. I don't give up how I pay for it. Just let me have a ticket. If anyone, if anyone's willing to sort me out, Arsenal fans, sort the LG out a ticket, yeah? Good price, yeah? Let's be reasonable. And we can negotiate. And come to an agreement, hopefully. No, I'm only joking. Um, I look to get I look to get tickets for both of those fixtures, so we, we shall see. Anyway. Enough about that. Um, moving on. Tuesday um, transfer talk. Let's have a pipe. I'm not going to read too much of it because I don't want to take too long. ESPN. This is um, the first bit of um, the page I'm re reading up here. States that Manchester United remain keen on West Ham United midfielder Declan Rice despite deciding not to move for the 22-year-old this summer. I think this got, this has got quite a lot of legs in it, over 
in, if you're basing on this, if you're basing this on solely on the truth, Liverpool will Liverpool are exploring a possible move for twenty four year old Valencia. Oh my goodness me! How rude! Oh, midfielder, Spain midfielder, Carlos Sola, who has a 125 million release clause in his contract. Red boss Jurgen Klopp's views Sola as a possible replacement for Netherlands midfielder Jorginho Ronaldo, who joined Passing Jamal in the free transfer this summer. For Chaez, now this could be a big possibility here. Yeah. We're looking at a realistic possibility, you know, and a target for Jurgen Klopp, who's possibly, I think he's spoken about um the player being uh, being as good as he is and um I think if he views him as another um similar player to Ronaldo then he would want him and he would go to the board and say look let's make this move happen you guys put in what you can to get this guy for me that's my player that's my target and I want him to be my player right Liverpool also interested in 25-year-old Spain attacker Marco Asensio. I'll tell you what, this is a quality talent, this guy. Beyond a quality talent, he is a top-class player who, in the right team, will thrive in the Premier League as long as he's given the time to settle in. I think the Premier League will have another top-quality player. Who will he come in... Who would he, what, what, what would happen to him? I mean, who would he replace in that team, ideally? I just don't know. Who is prepared to leave Real Madrid in a bid to relaunch his career? Well, he's obviously looking to um, leave Madrid for the simple fact is he's possibly on the bench every other week and uh, or nearly every week and he's not seeing much first-team football. Todo for chair right the agent of Man United midfielder Donny van der Beek says he has held talks with Everton over a potential summer move for the 24 year old Dutchman Everton fans um, do you like the sound of Donny van der Beek from Manchester United to Everton is he what you need in your midfield let me know in the comment section below feel free I mean, Donny van der Beek, I tell you what, I wouldn't mind negotiating with Manchester United to get that player of that ilk. Goal-scoring, attacking midfield player. That is what we need because we don't have goals in midfield. Like last season, six... Well, how many goals from midfield? Six. Pathetic. However, van der Beek says Oli Donnachosho was keen for him to stay at Old Trafford after holding talks with the United boss regarding his future. Vibe with five. Another um, source that I've never heard of. PSG have turned their attention to AC Milan and Ivory Coast midfielder Frank Kezi as they believe Manchester United and France star Paul Pogba would prefer a move to Real Madrid next summer. Well, I'll tell you what. That is going to be interesting. Defence are central. <laughs> One thing with Real Madrid, I think they're guaranteed to get um, Kylian Mbappe. On, and I'm quietly confident they will get their man. If they get Lam Pogba as well, well, they'll have a hell of a um, team. Well, two, hell of, um, two stellar class signings of world-class ability. Tottenham are also keen. Tottenham are also interested in Kessie and may be prepared to offload 24-year-old French midfielder Dunge Ondombele as a makeweight. Ooh. Let's have a look here. Now, this is about um, Mohamed El Naini because it says here, Arsenal midfielder Mohamed El Naini's proposed move to Basic has broken down due to the 29-year-old Egypt midfielder's wage demands. Well, that's always seems to be the issue. Every time we... Sh Every time we've tried to offload these players, the weight issue, and that's the reason why we've had a failed transfer window in terms of offloading and bringing um, quality proven in or proven quality in. Story of Arsenal Football Club for me. And Neoni's part of that. El Neoni, who spent the 2019-20 season on loan at Basic, has also saw a switch to Galatasaray fall through the same reason. 
this is um coming from Talk Sport here. Mm, it's very interesting. Excuse me. Wales midfielder Aaron Ramsey turned down several offers to leave Juventus over the summer as he is determined to nail a, down a regular starting place under Massimili Massimiliano Allegri. Well, if that's how he feels, and if this is what's coming out of um, Aaron Ramsey's mouth, then I wish him all the best. He's going to have to work bloody hard, I'll tell you that now. Phil Foden is set to be offered a new six-year contract at Manchester City, despite the England midfielder having three years left of left on his current deal. He obviously loves the club. Um, he wants to commit as long as um, the agreement is um, completely reasonable. I don't see why he wouldn't um, want to stay at Manchester City. I'm going to read one more here. Atletico Madrid can make a move to sign 29-year-old Argentina goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez from Aston Villa if Slovenia international Jan Oblak leaves the La Liga champions next summer. Wow. Look at that. Emiliano Martinez. He's looking... He could be a, a, a number one for Atletico Madrid, yeah? Let's put this into place. We sell Emiliano Martinez for, let's say, £17 million. But we go and buy a Ramsdale for nearly £30 million. What the heck? What kind of thinking is Arsenal on? I just need to say it anymore. Anyway, it's not about Arsenal, it's about the church. So, um, I've come to an end of this channel. And I would like to say... Well... This end, sorry, I've come to the end of this recording and um, I would like to be allowed to say ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, as I always say, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Saving the best to last, as I always say. Thank you for tuning in. Um, like I said, watch out for um, Friday's um, preview for the Norwich game. I'll be on that like a man possessed. Always love my preview and reviews after the game. And if I can go there, even better. <laughs> so, um, take care of your families. Take care of your friends. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Enjoy the hot weather in London, England, or wherever you are in and around the world. Enjoy your hot weather. If you've got good weather there, enjoy it. Um, as I always say, peace, love, and bless again. And um, all I want to say is, please... Just be nice.